Welcome to Electro Online. Now we're going to determine where the line, which is defined by this general equation, intersects with the xy plane. First of all, we need to realize where the xy plane exists, that's where z is equal to zero, which is a key piece of information that's going to help us figure this out. We also are going to use the parametric equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and set that equal to t. And then realizing the general form of the parametric equations, where we can say that x is equal to x sub naught plus at, y equals y sub naught plus bt, and z equals z sub naught plus ct, then we realize that a, b, and c are represented by the denominators, and a sub, x sub naught, y sub naught, and z sub naught are represented by those numbers. So let's plug those in and see what we get. So in this case, we get x is equal to x sub naught, which is 6, plus 2t. y is equal to y sub naught, which is 12, plus 3t. And z equals z sub naught, so z equals 4, because z sub naught is 4, plus c, which is 8t. All right, and then we realize that z is equal to 0. So we're going to apply that to this parametric equation. So we're going to plug in 0 and see what we get. We get 0 is equal to 4 plus 8t, which means that 8t is equal to minus 4, or t is equal to minus 4 over 8, which is minus 1 half. That should be a 2. Let me try it again, two right there. And notice we now have a value for t in our parametric equations. What we can do now is we can plug that in to our other two parametric equations and solve for the values of x and y. Which means, let's go over here, so we have x is equal to 6 plus 2t, but realize that t is equal to minus 1 half, so x is equal to 6 plus 2 times minus 1 half, so x is equal to 6 minus 1, or equal to 5. We do the same for the other variable y, and so we can say that y is equal to 12 plus 3t. Now, of course, t again is equal to 1 half, so we have y is equal to 12 plus 3 times a negative 1 half, so we have y is equal to 12 minus 3 times negative 1 half, that would be minus 1.5, which is equal to 10.5. So now we also have a value for y. That means that if z is equal to 0, x is equal to 5, and y is equal to 10.5, which means the point at which it crosses the xy plane, that's going to be the point, is going to be equal to the coordinates. Uh, well, for x, it's going to be 5. For y, it's going to be 10.5. And for z, it's going to be 0. So that's the location where that particular line given by that equation crosses the xy plane. And that is how it's done.